All right, just a quick one, folks. We uh, we got our pieces uh, laid out, <clears throat> and um, we're gonna take it over to Rich's place and run it through his bandsaw. Um, we don't have, it's not a great big, huge industrial bandsaw. It's only got like a 16 inch uh, uh, spread or, or whatever you wanna call it, depth to it. So we're gonna have to, to cut here first and then, and then come in this way. I'm sorry, come in this way and then remove this piece and then come in this way and remove this piece. We'll come across here and then try to weasel our way through. We may have to do drill some holes uh, to get the blade to the hole and then we can rotate in the hole. So uh, that's just part of it, but it, it's easier than trying to use a death wheel or something or, a, or an air saw or something. You'll be here forever trying to cut this stuff. So um, hopefully we get this stuff cut up today. I don't know if we're gonna get any of it uh, any of it bent up and broke up or whatever, but um, we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday. Uh, Rich wanted to weld those pads on the back of the trailer tomorrow. He has to work till noon tomorrow, too, on Sunday. So um, I got to knock the paint down. Uh, th that's where these plates are going to get welded on. Um, of course, once we weld those on, they get drilled and tapped. And then the whole thing gets scuffed, all the seal from the back doors gets removed. Um, the lights and everything removed and taped off. And then I'm going to hammer tone paint that whole rear uh, metal frame on the back of the trailer. We may not get to any of the other stuff, the aluminum up top or the fiberglass around the front, but we'll at least get that bit done so the back door deal is done, done, done and done. So that's it. We're going to go ahead and cut the stuff up. Um, I'll bring the camera over there with me, and if anything exciting happens, we'll bring it to you. God bless y'all.